have been handed over the mortal remains of their loved ones in Pretoria's Freedom Park. Justice Minister Michael Masuta says though the process arouses painful memories, they'll now walk the final mile of giving them a proper burial. Bringing closure to past painful memories. These are the remains of the PAC members known as the Krukas Dob 4. They were sentenced to death in 1963 after being convicted of the fatal shooting of a member of the security police. The other two remains are those of the ANC members. The six individuals lying before us tell us about different parts of our painful past, all sought to contribute to the struggle for democracy in different ways, and today we pay tribute to that contribution and the price they paid. Their families gathered here before us have waited decades to be able to recover their remains and to be able to bury them at the place of their choice with dignity. They will no longer lie in unmarked graves but will be buried by their families at their homes. Families are relieved. Thank you, Africans. These are our remains. Really, this should be the history of the entire the next generation of this country. Both PC and NC acknowledged the work done. The freedom that we are talking about, we are living in today, that those it, it did not come free, that those who paid with their own lives, and that the families that have contributed immensely for where we are today. Therefore, we should never ever take the freedom and the democracy that we are in for granted. We acknowledge the NPA to at least try to bring our comrades so that Konoa Kapila and give them a, a very, very revolutionary period. There are still challenges in searching for those who disappeared in political circumstances. But the minister says the work of the missing persons task team will continue. The government remains committed to the search in order to bring some form of closure to the families of the missing, including symbolic reburial ceremonies where remains cannot be found. Masuta says the Galos Exhumation Project, which aims to recover the remains of those who've been hanged, is nearly complete. He indicated that only 24 are left to be exhumed. Mulimone Mutaisi BC News, Pretoria. Well, this ceremony is set to form part of the department's efforts to implement the recommendations made by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which aim to bring closure to the families of those whose lives were lost due to political activities during the apartheid government. For more on the story, we now speak to SABC's Molemo. Very good evening, Jim Olemo. Just take us through today's proceedings. Good evening, uh, Shante. Um, indeed, the ceremony today uh, uh, forms part of the department's effort to uh, implement the TRC uh, recommendations. And uh, if you'd recall, in 2016, the Justice Minister launched the Gallows Exhumation Project at the uh, Pretoria Central Prison, uh, which is now known as the Hosiman Buru Correctional Service. And uh, a team of highly qualified specialists uh, was appointed at the time to work tirelessly uh, on these cases of uh, missing persons. And uh, the department since then has been uh, working as well with uh, uh, the National Prosecuting Authorities uh, uh, Missing Persons Task Team to retrace the remains exhume them and also conduct for a forensic examination, which then enabled uh, identification to be concluded. But uh, the minister today highlighted that uh, you know, as much as uh, strides have been made uh, in this uh, project, there are challenges uh, uh, you know, that they, they, they are faced with, and some of those including or include uh, cases of those, you know, uh, people who died in exile, those whose whereabouts are, no, uh, are known only to a small group of perpetrators whose identities are not known, and as well as those uh, uh, where records no longer exist. But then he actually uh, indicated that the government 
uh, remains committed uh, in, 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 pursuing, in pursuing the search. And uh, uh, so far, about 95 remains have been exhumed and uh, the project is almost complete with only 24 uh, exhumations uh, remaining. In terms of closure and the families wanting closure, have you been able to speak to any of the families today uh, to hear what their thoughts and views were? Indeed, uh, we were able to hear from uh, some of the families uh, whose uh, loved ones uh, were, were, were actually or, or lost their lives, uh, you know, during uh, that era. One of them being Taboram Mute from Harangua who left the country, South Africa, in 1982 to join the African National Congress, and uh, it's a uh, armed wing MK. Uh, he was one of the six uh, MK members who were shot dead in a planned operation by uh, members of the security police. And his family today, you know, expressed their gratitude uh, to what's the the, the, the work that the government uh, has done so far, uh, saying that now they are relieved that, you know, as much as this uh, uh, process, you know, is evoking uh, painful memories, it will, you know, on the other hand, give them, you know, the, the, the time and the space to mourn and bury their, you know, their loved one uh, properly. Thank you very much uh, for giving us that update, Malema, for SABC News with regards to uh, those anti-apartheid activists and their bodies being exhumed. In some other news, families...